Ronaldo, who are you? That is a good question. I am a Mexican American born in almost 80 years ago. Have lived in the United States three fourths of my life in at the University of Minnesota, and where I also earned my bachelor's. I earned my master at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, Illinois, as well as a PhD from the same institution in 1971. Education was given to me by my American foster mother. Not sure whether my parents ever went to school. Tell me about Irene Olivet Wesley. Who was she and what role did she play in your life? Irene Olivet Wesley was a 45 year old woman, a widow from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, who stopped in Saltillo um, on the train coming back from Mexico City on her way to Minneapolis. And for some reason, as she walked the, uh, the platform there, she had a, uh, something uh, uh, help uh, made her think um, that there was a special place about uh, a special significance of this place and uh, she uh, arrived in Minneapolis and asked her mother to call the University of Minnesota to see if there was a summer school in Saltillo and she found it. The following year she came to Saltillo and as I was working at the hotel, shining shoes, um, watching uh, cars from being vandalized, and helping Uncle Alfredo um, take luggage from the, uh, from the cars to the interior of the hotel, uh, I helped bring the luggage of Irene. Um, and uh, took her to her room, number four. <laughs> Uncle, my, uh, my cousin Mario, son of Alfredo, um, helped too. And as I turned the switch on in room four, the light didn't come out. So I said, Mario, come and bring a ladder and a, and a ball because... <laughs> It, it needs to be changed. So, and then I read before she gave me a tip. She asked me, "Do you know where the Escuela Constituyentes is located?" And I said, "Yeah, a couple of blocks away from where I live with my aunt Lupe and my grandmother Maria." And I said, "Well, I have to go there on Friday to a meeting of the friends." I said, well, I can take you. And so we agreed that I was going to be um, the person responsible for taking her to school there. I had forgotten totally by Friday that I had this appointment. I didn't have a, an agenda and a pencil to write all of my appointments. <laughs> but somehow I went to the movies early that Friday and on the way to the house, I said, I better go to the hotel because my shoe shine box may not have enough cremas and, and pomades and, and other things that I need to have to change. I approached the hotel and who do you think it was there waiting for me by the door? Irene Olivet Wesley. And she said, oh, you came early. And I said, yes! <laughs> so we started to walk. And 
it was about six, seven blocks away. Um, and I took her there, and she invited me to come to the meeting. I said, no, I go to, uh, I go home, I live only two blocks away from here, and um, at a certain time I'll come and get you, and, um, and take you back to the hotel. In the meantime, I went home, and I told my uh, grandmother, Maria, Doña, uh, La Mama Grande, uh, and my Aunt Lupe, uh, if I could bring her over and introduce Irene to them. And so I went back to the school, and uh, the meeting was over. We started walking, and I said, I'm going to take you home, because my grandmother and my uh, Aunt Lupe want to meet you. Either my Aunt Lupe or across the street, um, her um, sister-in-law, uh, Cello, had just recently made uh, uh, tamales and there were some left. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Irene had um, the tamales. <laughs> we fed her uh, for tamales and then I walked her home. So that was the beginning of a relationship uh, that eventually led me to have uh, a person responsible for my education and eventually uh, mm, uh, invited me to come to live with her in her school um, at uh, University High at the University of Minnesota. Uh, I lived with her uh, f from 1952 to 1958. By 1958, I had met the third woman in my life responsible for who I am. Companion, my wife, the mother of my children, Marta Beatriz Catalina Stiefel Insua. Tell me about how Irene brought you to the United States. I, Irene tested me um, almost six years. Um, to see if I had uh, the uh, qualifications to get an education and, uh, and, 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 and be somebody. Uh, she always said, Mexico needs mining engineers. The, Univers the University of Minnesota has a very good uh, school of mining, and I'm sure that you will make it there. So it was put into my head by Irene that I, would, I should become a mining engineer. <laughs> and I graduated from the Academia Comercial Coahuila um, in 1952. By that time, uh, Irene had asked me, do you want to come to the United States and live with me and go to school? I said, of course I would. Um, um, but I have to ask my grandmother and I have to ask my father and my father for permission because I was underage, that is, I was not 18 years old. Uh, in September, I think it was September 4th, 1952, we arrived in Minneapolis. What a world of difference, a culture totally different language totally different. So there I was. December or January, I began to evolve into using the language. And um, by the end of the year, um, I was pretty much settled. I couldn't talk much, but, uh, but I did talk. My friends, at first at the high school, were the athletes because they didn't have to talk. <laughs> but the thinkers of the school, the children who were the thinkers, uh, who were interested uh, in uh, knowing who I was and what was I doing there, uh, I, I did not begin to talk to them until about the end of the year. Um, and they are still my friends.